Today, for the first time, we're seeing body camera footage from a confrontation between a St. John's County deputy and a man that ultimately led to the deputy's death. Sergeant Michael Kunovich collapsed right after making an arrest, later dying at the hospital from a heart attack. Marilyn Parker is joining us now after going through the body camera video frame by frame. Marilyn? Yes, we want to warn our viewers that this video may be hard for some to watch. It starts with Sergeant Kunovich driving, as you can see here, and then we're going to see him get out of the car about 24 seconds in. From there, he's going to approach Aguilar Mendez. Now, the first thing we're going to hear him say is stop, and Sergeant Kunovich calls in and gives a description of Aguilar Mendez. You can watch the encounter from there. Stop. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, why when I was driving around? Yeah, yeah, oh, stop, stop. stop. Uh, eating, eating. Okay, but why did you get up and walk away? Huh? When you saw me, you yeah. got up and walked away. Why? Yeah. Why? But you need me, I hear you. I go for you drinking. So the sergeant continues talking to Aguilar Mendez, asking for his ID and where he was staying. Aguilar Mendez tells him he does not speak English. Then the sergeant tells him he has someone coming and continues to ask him questions. Okay, do you have any ID and identification, uh, license? What? ID, identification. I, uh, yeah, yeah. In the room? Yeah. Okay, what's your first name? Huh? Your first name? I'm sorry, I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Okay, do you have any weapons on you? Huh? Do you have any weapons on you? No. Well, you know what that is. Turn around, let me look. No. Turn around. No. Turn around. But, no. Don't walk no, away from me. No, no, sorry, sorry. Don't pull away from me. I'm checking you for what? Get your hands away from your... No, no, Stop. no, no. Stop! No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And so this is where the scuffle begins. Another deputy arrives about two minutes in, and there's at least three minutes of a very clear struggle. You see one deputy right on top of him. He's tased several times. More deputies arrive, and it takes until about the six-minute mark for them to wrestle him into handcuffs. Now, I showed this video to an immigration attorney and asked if he thought there was anything that he knows that could have been done to de-escalate the situation. And that's the difficulty that, you know, the, uh, I'm not sure there is because, the, you know, the officer is trying to communicate commands and then Mr. Aguilar Mendez is not hearing it. He doesn't understand why he's being detained in the first place or, you know, why um, he's there putting their hands on him. And coming up tonight on News for Jacks at 6, you can hear more from the immigration attorney on how this is going to play out in court. And also, I show this video to local Hispanics who say they feel there needs to be a change. Back to you.